Notoriously ignorant provocateur Caitlin Bennett got into a bit of a feud with a cop, which I thought was fascinating because oftentimes when we talk about police officials on the show or police in general, it involves a minority who is dealing with police brutality, excessive force. That's not the case here. Caitlin Bennett goes to events, goes to college campuses with the sole intention of evoking people, uh, angering people, just so she can get some cute little footage for her little Infowars show. So let's take a look at what happened during an Iowa Pride event. You clearly don't like what they're up to. I don't okay? care what they're up then to. Go away. Then, why, then why there's would no you reason want to, to investigate? interview anyone. Yes, okay. there is. You're free to be about your business. Please don't get any more complaints. I don't know why you're making Have accusations about me. You're an officer. You're supposed I'm not to know the truth. I'm making any accusations other than what I believe it's is taking place It's supposed to be the here. truth. Here is what I believe is taking place. Because you're hanging the microphone in my face, you're yes, playing these silly because games. Because you're an officer who just uphold the law and the business. First Amendment. I am holding the law. Have you been handcuffed yet? Have you no, but I've been threatened with it. Me? That's all you've done is sit and argue with me about is this complaints that I received about you. I you said you, you got guys. complaints, so then I attempted to help you. You chose not to ask for my help in that you, are, you wanted to confiscate right. our property. You wanted me to investigate what you said was a crime. That's right. the only way it can be investigated. By taking not, property. No, it's not confiscated. I just want to know. It's putting it into evidence so the detectives can take a look at it. All right, so let's recap. There's a pride event going down in mm -hmm. Iowa. People are enjoying themselves. Caitlin Bennett's a provocateur. She shows up with her camera and she starts asking people inappropriate and degrading questions. We've shown you videos of her doing that in the past. And a few people complained about it to the police and the police are like, you need to stop. You don't have to leave, but you, you gotta stop doing this. Um, and then they apparently lodged some complaints against some uh, pride, you know, people at the pride event. And so in order to investigate that, the, the police need to look at the footage. Sure. And so they blame the police of trying to take away their equipment. And he explains why he needed to look at the footage in that clip. So now that we got that all sorted out, I, I love that police officer. He handled that really well and I wish that all police, even in, in super stressful situations when you're dealing with people that are maybe challenging you a little bit, you just remain calm and you try to defuse the situation. That's what he really did here and that's really the best way to handle it. Yeah, it's a good shout out to that officer for paying attention to training or at least having the proper training. And like, here's how you deal with media agitators who are just like goons and are just trying to start trouble. Um, I was looking at that clip like, oh my God, if like I were Doing that, I would have been arrested like the 28th, 27th second of that. Yeah, like, I thought the same because thing. You, you don't get the right, like, as a person of color at least, you don't get the right to argue with police. It's like, whatever, however wrong they are, like, whatever they say goes. Like, you're not supposed to do that because we literally have video of people trying to record the police and getting shot afterwards. Right. For that. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's very. It's worth noting that she's able to do this special kind of grift when a and lot of other people come. She changes her voice. She's, she changes her yeah. voice. She tries to be all nice. She tries it's to a say really I'm, baby yeah. talk voice. By the way, I, you know it's weird that she goes into that affect. There's this baby talk, innocent kid thing, and you know I'm just a kid practicing journalism type <laughs> thing. Um, but it's really horrifying too. I mean, I, I agree with you guys. I like the sentiment about the police officer and I, I get that. I hope that that's shown as a training video and that people who are pulled over for traffic stops get that sort of consideration too. Right. Because he was awfully considerate. He and was, you could he was. say that historically in the United States, like there probably is a history of police being awfully considerate to young white women. Is there yeah. a history of police being you know, considerate to other people? And, and so I- Yeah, in fact, I, I wanna go to the next clip because um, in this next one, he, he seems to be aware, like very aware of what oh, the yeah. situation is. He's media is. savvy he for is. sure. He He's is. like, I know you're trying to make a video. Let's take a look. I believe what you're doing here right now is this would be great film for you, right? Arguing with the cop. Oh my God, you got him. No, That's what this is my all about. Audience loves cops. That wouldn't okay. make sense. Then let's move on with our night, I so know, I can I'm go protect to, somebody that might actually need to be protected. I will, why can't you right? tell people that they can't just make you right? leave because of accusations? These are accusations against me. Did I make you me. leave? No. No, that's not what Did I'm I saying. Did I make you leave? No, I'm, I'm trying to explain. Do you, you understand people go to jail all the time based on accusations? And then it's up I to- do, and I want to protect then, myself. Yes, good point. I want to protect then myself. Then I would leave everybody alone, because they clearly don't like you. It, it sounds so like I you're have to leave because because I'm not taking anyone's side. I'm not taking anyone's side. Well, you said leave, leave people alone. I would say this seems like a bad idea in here, but that's just me. If I had white right after that, he he basically walked away from them. It was oh, masterfully done. Oh, if I had white privilege for a day, oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> wow.
Um, but I, I don't know. I just, I like that she finally got what she deserves at these events. I mean, she's shown up at uh, rallies that TYT has done in an effort to provoke people. And I, I really do appreciate all of our viewers who have been there and they've found a way to kind of like block her out or defuse the situation, de escalate the situation. She's just, she's not there for any good purpose. Journalism is important. What she does is not journalism. She I, looks to provoke people. I get what the word, I think I get, I'm a writer for a living, I get what the word provocateur means. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's a provocateur. Like there's no idea behind what she's doing. Mm -hmm. It's just and it's silly and intellectually insulting. That's yeah, all I have to all say. Yeah, all she wants to do is upset people. That's 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 her whole thing. That's her whole brand. TYT is all about challenging and disrupting the status quo, and so is Aspiration. Aspiration does not invest your money into fossil fuel businesses that harm our planet, such as pipelines and oil drilling. Instead, you'll be able to fight climate change with tools like AIM, the Aspiration Impact Measurement, and Planet Protection. They also don't hit you with outrageous fees for you to access your own money. You can even earn cash back and get free ATM uses up to five times a month. Head to aspiration.com slash TYT to learn more. For a limited time, get 30 days of free TYT membership when you sign up.